In this video I'm going to show you how to make bets in horse racing. Win. Markets based on conditions in the corresponding. Place. Markets, and vice versa. Connecting these markets is attractive, because of the underlying dependencies between them. In Market Feeder Pro all kinds of betting are possible with special instructions, or triggers. Let's start with very simple triggers. I'll open the triggers editor and create a new trigger file. Then, I'll add my first and only block, and will name it tying win and place markets together. Then I'm adding a new trigger and call it, laying on the favorite in win market, based on price in place market. Some default values are populated in the new trigger. I will keep the trigger action, lay, because that's what it will do. I will lay at the current price and use my default bet size settings. What I do need to change is the horse that I'll lay on, I'm choosing. Favorite. Also, the type of markets I want to bet in, is. Win markets. This is already a functional trigger, but I wanted to place a bet upon certain conditions. I only want to lay on the favorite, if the same horse in the place market has a price above 2.0, and besides there must be 3 or more winning places. But how can I check something that belongs to a place market while being inside a win market? The answer is, through the win place prefix. When I start with win place, then everything that comes next, applies to the opposite market. So here you see win place lay price which means the lay price of this selection in the opposite market. Checking the number of winning places requires the same prefix. This compound notation means the number of winning places in the opposite market. Just what we need. So let's run our triggers in some random horse races. I'm opening win and place markets of one of exit races. Then I need to turn the triggers on. And start monitoring. A bet is immediately placed, let's see why. The favorite is 5 star Wilsham, you can see. It has been laid on. Let's take a look at the corresponding place market. The same horse here is priced at 2.08, which meets one of my conditions. The other condition is satisfied too, as this market has three winning places. I'll pick some different race to compare with. Alright, no bets. Apparently. Let's find the reason. The favorite Masani has a price well below 2.0 in the place market, and there are only two winning places here, so this race does not qualify. My trigger ignored it. I'm going to play the other way round, bet in a place market, if certain conditions are met in the win market. I'm adding a new trigger and calling it. Backing in place market, based on win market. This time, I want to back on the second favorite, if its price in the win market is below 4.0. Like in the previous trigger, I'm editing the basic settings. I also add a condition, that will check win place back price, that is the back price of the same horse in the win market. I'll disable the first trigger, so that it does not interfere with my new backing trigger. 
Don't forget to reload your trigger file, each time you make changes. Meanwhile, the back bet has been placed on Bobble Boru, the second favorite in the 1630 Exeter race. That happened because its price in the win market is less than 4.0. Whereas, in the other race, this condition is not satisfied. To sum up, we have conducted a case study on betting in win and place markets, with simple dependencies. It is possible to add much more complex checks, and nested logic, using the same keyword. Win place. You will find more examples of betting techniques on our website. Thank you for watching this video. Try Market Feeder Pro for free today.